What's up, everyone? Welcome to Generation Iron Podcast. Your host, me, Victor Martinez, Esan Farahi, Vlad Yudin, Edwin Mejia. All right. Well, Welcome back, here. guys. Yeah. Thank you for joining us. So, guys, guys. I'm afraid to ask, but <laughs> what are the topics for today, man? <laughs> Today's going to be, uh, uh, it might be an episode that gets us banned from bodybuilding forever. Oh, I hope not. You know? <laughs> still We've got some of kind those. of money in the <laughs> industry, you know. <laughs> so, but there's uh, a topic that keeps coming up in the industry, right? Every once so often, it's called gay for pay. I keep hearing it, and it's a bit confusing what that means exactly. What that means? What that gay think? for? But specifically in the fitness industry, it's very, from what I understand, very, very popular. So it's essentially, I mean, essentially, that's kind of like OnlyFans today, right? Because what would be the difference, Vic? I mean, I mean, gay for pay. Was actually the original OnlyFans, right? For bodybuilders, and uh, you got to remember, everybody's got to know that bodybuilding wasn't respected as much, but in the gay community, it was well reserved. Uh, uh, you know, it accepted. It was uh, respected, and uh, they definitely took advantage of it as well because there was no sponsors back in the seventies and eighties. And uh, a gay man with money, seeing a nice, you know, bodybuilder in shape, looking fantastic, dude. I mean, so they're essentially they were the, they were the sponsors. They, they were the sponsors. They took <laughs> advantage of the situation. Again, most guys didn't mind because it wasn't actual sex. It's kind of like the women it's posing, that correct? Yeah. It's posing, posing. I don't know. Maybe they have some oil wrestling. I don't know. I don't know any of that. <laughs> You're saying two bodybuilders put an oil wrestle in front of in front of a man. Uh, like that? Or I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> or anyone? With anyone them. offer you to posing for? Of course. Of course. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I think there was a. So it's uh, very normal. Yeah. It's normal. You get offers. You get offers all the time, especially now. Social media. You get wow. DMs. You get people offering. All kinds of money, and again, you, you not get you not get mad while you do while you say that. No, I gay. mean when I was younger, I guess I did get mad, but then it was one of those things that, yeah, you should ask me because I do like <laughs> yeah. good because the funny thing <laughs> why don't you ask me? <laughs> well, that's what actually happened was there was uh you know I, I would go to different gyms when I was younger, and guys would would ask. You know, hey, you pose, you know, I'll pay you. And I'm like, nah, I don't want to 
do that. I'm good, you know. But uh, I would, I could train you. I could sell you any drugs you want. Again, guys, it's 20 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> disclaimer, <laughs> disclaimer. But uh, <laughs> my partner will actually get jealous of what he asked you. I'm like, no, he asked me to pose. What's wrong with this guy? You know, I'm a hardcore, man. I'm not mm. into that stuff. He goes, <clears throat> man. He asked you, how come he didn't ask me? <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. So gay meaning like, okay, so a straight bodybuilder performs for gay men for pay. That's what the gay yeah, for pay Yeah, I mean, is, straight, I mean? semi-straight, you know. Whatever. Whatever he was. But at the end of the day, right. remember, bodybuilding was such a new sport. It was right. taboo but, in a sense, right? Yeah, yeah. It was. We didn't have right. the money to sustain ourselves, to really feed ourselves the gear, all that stuff. So mm -hmm. here comes a well-off gay man, has the money, has the means. Why not? You know, right. why not? You know, it's like- So for the new generation that probably doesn't know, like the Gen Zs and all these young guys that are into bodybuilding or- But right now, it's what happening is, What does that mean? So it's, it's happening, happening now. That's what I was about to ask you. Right happening. now, it's even more because How? now you have- Through DMs? Physique guys, mm -hmm. you Different know, more categories, categories, more guys doing it. They don't want to work. More athletes, basically. More athletes, yeah. They don't want to work, mm -hmm. and they are doing it, you know. I yeah. heard stories of guys that uh, got pissed on. You know? What? <laughs> yes. Well, that's a I, bit of, I that's know. more than posing already. No, no, again, this is no, the pain for you know, stories I hear, again, you know. Uh, um, <laughs> Golden show. I hear, too. Set. I don't want to name it, but I know. I, I think yeah, the, yeah, yeah, the yeah. politically correct term is, is golden showers. Golden they got golden showers. showered on. So these, wait, these are Kelly's in bodybuilding? <laughs> oh, man. We're gonna, not going to go there, bro. Yes. I have a question. Yes, sir. Do we have, we, have, we have any bodybuilder gay or no? Yeah, there is. I'm sure, sure there's, 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 there's several. I mean, come I mean on. there's nothing wrong with that. I think that it's. I, I mean, I'm, I'm, wrong. there's nothing I'm wrong with that. City. I mean, none of them comes out of the. I mean, no, it's coming I mean, out. I mean, everything's right now because you get so blacklisted because of any crap. Any there's a lot of bullshit. there's a lot of athletes out there that um you know are openly gay, from what I've heard and what I've you know read about too. I I don't know how many, but I mean, I'm sure there's many others out there that haven't come out too that are. <laughs> Yeah, um, I mean, that I've heard of that I don't want to say. <laughs> but, but being <laughs> gay and having a gay swag is not the same thing. Exactly, you know? two different things. Yeah. Two different, two different, right? <laughs> two different you things. Could have so. a gay swag and not be gay. Right, 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 right. <laughs> but uh, yes, again, the, the first sponsors, it's happening. The the women, they always had it. They always had right. the sugar daddy. So, would you say, are there a lot of bodybuilders that you know that have done that? That I know, I have done that. You're gonna drop names that have, more than that have, or Are you gonna drop their names? No, no, I, I would not. Again, <laughs> Don't drop secret the names. forever. Again, you know, I was offered a, a lot of money um, <clears throat> in the past, and I remember just having like fifty bucks in my pocket. But it, it's one of those things that I knew. Fast forward, I'm like, damn, it's gonna come back. If I did this, I know I'm secure about myself, uh, right. sexual orientation. But if I did this, and and I go home and I look in the mirror. I don't mm. think I feel comfortable looking in this mirror. So I always bowed out. And uh, again, I got to say this, though. The gay community was the best and strongest community I ever had in bodybuilding. Mm. Zero regrets. I love training in the gyms. Everywhere, you name it, I will always go. And uh, they actually respect more than a heterosexual guy would have the respect for a woman sure, you sure. know mm -hmm. yeah you see it a lot too like in places like miami um mm -hmm. chelsea back in the day those were like hardcore bodybuilding gyms and you had a lot you know big gay community of course man the chelsea boys man <laughs> chelsea boys if you want to be a chelsea boy you had to be you know buff it wasn't big it wasn't brolic it had to be buff buff <laughs> yes curtain looks yeah yeah <laughs> just uh what's the difference between buff and jacked and what did you say Big. Yeah, jacked is not, you know, it's just your big me head is not enough. But uh -huh. if you're buff, it, it's kind of like you have. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when we were doing a column on Mogard, uh actually Generation 9 2, when Colin was in it, remember? Mm -hmm. So he was, he was getting DMs every day from people offering to buy his underwear and socks. 
Yep. I, I is think, that, does that fall into that uh, or is it something different? Yeah, somebody owes me money. They stole my underwear a few times. <laughs> Where? <laughs> in the gym? Yeah, in the gym. Man. What? Oh, these are back in Johnny Latch Day. And, uh, oh, no wonder I probably saw them uh, on eBay somewhere. No, nah, <laughs> nah. <laughs> somebody owes me money, man. <laughs> they need some residuals on that. <laughs> bro, hide, hide in your underwear, bro. <laughs> well, I don't shower in gyms anymore. I mean, and if I do, it's got to be some that, high that, end. Yeah. That falls I, under the, like, next style. Would that fall under the category of like merchandising in the bodybuilding <laughs> industry? It's got to be the double yeah, merch, door yeah. gyms, you know. <laughs> That's true. What's your suggestion for youngest generation if one of the gay DM for Listen, posing guys, or for buying the trunks? Listen, right now you got girls doing OnlyFans. They're showing the crotch, their cooch, their boobs everywhere. If you're posing for some guy, you're secure by yourself, you know what, by all means, you know, just hope he doesn't record it. And puts it out there for you, but uh, which could happen actually, right? It, it could, of course, it could happen. It's gonna happen to anyone. Yes, yes. Everybody has hidden cameras and everything. That's what I'm saying, but uh, it depends what level of respect you give yourself and how daring you are. Well, but, you also uh, run the risk of having it online forever. So essentially, if you do it right today, essentially it might be in every other platform. Yes, <laughs> online yeah, exactly. forever. Close other doors. If, if you exactly. do it. You know, just which know we know. It. We we I've, I mean, we've seen some bodybuilders that have some stuff out there that. We will never get it erased. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's a Once few. it's on Google, man, it's there for life, essentially, right? I mean, mm -hmm. Google, Sadly. I mean, some people have it on VHS. They'll come bring it out of the woodwork. <laughs> oh, that's the vault. <laughs> <laughs> the vault will come the out. Vault. Wait, so I have a question. So so when it comes to gay for pay specifically, right? Yes. Is it like, um, is it totally acceptable in bodybuilding, you guys think? Or is it something that people just don't want to admit to talk about? Or is it, or is it normal? No, it's, it's acceptable because they're it's actually putting you on a pedestal. They, they want to worship. Muscle what? worshiping. I heard about that. Yeah, that's, the muscle that's... worshiping, gay for pay is all really fall in the same category. You know? right. What do you call Remember you told me a story? I think it was you that told me a story. It was like, a, like, like regular men pay female bodybuilders to basically be dressed up as a baby and carry them around the room. Is that, what do you call that? That's not fetish. gay for pay, that's just <laughs> fetish. Fetish, yeah. What is that's that? Fetish. Never, a grown man dresses up as a baby and, and he's being, I'm not making this up by the way. Yeah, Don't look at me like this, carried, getting spanked, <laughs> getting fed a yeah. bottle. Yeah, yeah. You seen by it? a big muscle I, you woman. You seen this, Vic? Yeah, yeah, it's a schmo lifestyle. <laughs> of course, wow. Man. <laughs> This is a schmo. I never uh, seen a schmo in shape. Schmo you, is always out of shape. Could you imagine older. like some older man like being carried by Ronnie Coleman? Rock, rock, that'd be no, usually by females, right? Yeah, usually, usually by, by females. females. Yeah, yeah oh, the okay. schmoes are usually females. Yeah, but schmo is a females. man that, that, yeah. that likes that? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Schmoes, you know. That is crazy. They're always, always a little heavy, you know, always no hair, they lost their hair, losing their hair. <laughs> They always have a white shirt with like a, a food stain on like, it. He looks like the family the guy. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> a family guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, they wear shorts with the high socks up to their knees. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they always have a camera. They always do photography. I've seen, I've seen a few of those guys at bodybuilding shows. <laughs> so if, if, a female, guys, if a female bodybuilder funny. agrees to do that for money, is that like... It's, it's a it's hustle. A bad, good, good. I it's think, a hustle. I think, I think the woman category is more than men's. I mean, it's very normal for more woman category. Women to wrestling. Do, to do yeah, that. Wrestling. I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, you, see, you probably see all that stuff all over OnlyFans these days. It's probably all mm, over. Yeah, it's yeah. content. I think it's more. It's <laughs> much more accepted now than it was in the 90s. It was like, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. She, she wrestled. She just choked out one of my boys, you know. <laughs> so, I mean, but it, it was more a judgmental thing. And... If right. somebody didn't like you, they could use that against you as, oh, we can't have you represent our sport. We can't have you do this. So it was always a double-edged sword. That's why it was always underground, essentially, right? Always mm -hmm. underground. Always. Uh, it's, it's the, key, the, key, the key is if you're going to do it, right, you make sure you think about it twice before you regret that decision. Yeah. No, it's do it again. Both parties usually consent to it. Again, nobody's coming out, calling anybody out about it. That was so 2000. And uh, right, right now it's being done privately. It's not being filmed. It's not out there. But uh, it's being done, man. You can't stop it. Any gay in the gyms bothers you? Comes to you, touch you, and like that? <laughs> That'll be the day, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. It's, uh, they're asking me to catch another case, man. I can't, you know? <laughs> Yeah, you don't want that to happen. No, 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 no. I've got no more lawyer fees left in me, man. But uh, 
I mean, guys will be daring. They'll be daring. I mean, uh, I remember showering in, uh, in another gym, and you see how the shower sometimes has this one little half an inch crack. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I remember those, especially the ones <laughs> that back in the day in New York, like the Bally. You know what I'm talking about? The Bally's ones. Yeah. Have well, like from the, the open showers, showers to the actual stalls. You always right. have a, a little crack, and you see after a while, you know, you just kind of like there, either doing a number two and you're wondering, but you see an eyeball kind of. Oh. <laughs> like, really, bro? That's happened to Really? You? That's happened? Yeah, man. Oh, what happens when you do, so you saw the guy peeking in and what, what would happen? What do you do? Um, well, I let it slide the first time, then obviously. Yeah, it was the second time? <laughs> the second time because I thought it was just me. You the know? same guy second time we're talking about. Same guy, second time. I still remember you, Red. I still remember you. <laughs> <laughs> you should be kicking him out. Well, Red, I, was, I waited. Did they kick him out? Did they kick him out? Check this out. I ah. waited till he starts, you know, looking because it always happened when I went into the, you know, the store. <laughs> so I kind of sat there, wasn't doing much. You and hunting. I waited. You're and I, once I saw his eyeball there, I kicked the door open. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And it hit him in the face? Totally hit him in the face, bro. <laughs> yeah. hey, but but that was my way of accepting what was him. You know, I let him. Okay, slide. so where, can I ask where where this was? What part of New York this was? This, this was, uh, man. Listen, I don't want to give Chelsea, New York. <laughs> Chelsea, New York. Oh, was, it, was, man. It was it on twenty? I love Chelsea. All right, I used to live there. Bro. It was Chelsea. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! Was it 20, no, no, it was Union Square. Union Square. Let's oh, move it away. It was wait, Twenty Third Street. That's what it was. No, no, no. Close, no, close, close. Right. In Chelsea specifically, if you go to the gyms there, mm -hmm. it could be like a crunch gym. There's a crunch gym there. I think there's like, there's a few others. They always have signs near the bathrooms. Really? That say you're going to be reported to the authorities if something is going down or mm. you're, you know what I mean? Wow. But it's specifically wow. in those neighborhoods. <laughs> it's not Whoa. in like... Upper East Side. It's not in Queens. It's not in Brooklyn. I mean, come on. I mean, imagine <laughs> you're in the gym where everybody was just attracted to one another. I mean, <laughs> you're gonna go all out, man. I mean, can you blame them? <laughs> I mean, yeah, it, you're right. It's like a girl to boy, boys to girls, like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it was happening with guys too and girls in the gyms, and uh, you know, one of those days, a blizzard hits. Gyms are empty. You. Another female, things change quick. <laughs> <laughs> but, Evil uh, thing. Yes, it's it's, uh, it's happening again. That was a lot before, uh, more often than none, when there was no sponsorships. Yeah, yeah there's yeah, no yeah. sponsorships, and uh, you you need to make that money, man. You need to survive, and it was survival of the fittest. And uh, I decided to do you know other things like bouncing and. You use the bounce stick? Yeah, yeah. Where? Bouncing. The tunnel, man. Oh, the, that's the right. Tunnel. Really? Yeah. Wow. You bounce to the tunnel? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's like infamous, the most infamous yeah, club the in the Yeah, the tunnel, whole. limelight. Oh, um, you must have. You what have was it like bouncing? Bar you must have a lot of stories. Yeah, what was it like bouncing in, in the tunnel? It was great, man. I mean, I was working with the club king uh, of, you know, New York City at the time, Peter Gation, and uh, my job was just to. To bounce. I mean, he didn't know, but we had a girl that used to sell drugs. My job was to make sure she wasn't robbed. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> Allegedly. Be, be, before bodybuilding? Before bodybuilding? Before you were... Um, have I competed already? Yes, I've done a couple of shows already. Wasn't there, like a, lot of, shows wasn't there like a lot of fights in that club, like constant? Yeah, there were fights, but it was, it was the tunnel. So there would be a fight and cleared out. The club will never close. They just keep going. The tunnel Non-stop. was like they'll it, put you in the, the cooler infamous. room. There was a room where they cool you down. If right. you took a lot of drugs, they'll cool you down, you know, and they'll just keep you there until right. you you came down from it because they don't want to kick you outside. I had no idea you worked in the tunnel. Outside. That's crazy, man. Yeah, yeah. It was the tunnel and uh, Twilo too. They shut down tunnel, yeah, it's a long yeah. time ago. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. famous, famous club. Yeah. It, it was it because was of the drugs. Fun. Actually, I heard they, they shut it down. Maybe that girl you were protecting yeah, yeah. did the wrong thing. I mean, how again, many times? How many times it kicked? Kick person out of the club. Man, it, 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 was it, was probably every, it was probably every night. It was every night. It was uh, either <laughs> old deed, too much drugs, or got too hyped up, decided to fight. Is it true Mike Tyson used to come through there? Did you ever see Mike Tyson there? Mike Tyson? No, no. I heard stories me. about Mike Tyson going there. But uh, Mike Tyson. Uh, like all the, all the rappers used to go. Like Mike Tyson actually, uh, 
Oh, let me stay quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Let's stay quiet. Let me stay quiet, man. Damn, mm-hmm. man. What's the point of a podcast if you can't say everything? <laughs> exactly. Let's not get no, in trouble. <laughs> he's being sued. He's got enough problems. You know, I don't want to be adding to the icing on the cake. I heard he's. I heard Mike Tyson is being sued for for alleged crime. Alleged crime from like. 20 years ago? Like, yeah, yeah, crazy. Yeah. The same girl that he had to do time with uh, for is accusing, you know, she needs money now. All right. I guess she wants to cash in on that. I think statute limitations. She just remember how, what happened? Yeah. <laughs> you would you think, know, right? Like, what? After 20 years, you know? Just leave it to the lawyers. Leave it to the lawyers. Yeah. yeah Good luck, man. So, a bodybuilder doesn't have any problem with the gay. Um, no, I mean, come on. They paved the way for bodybuilding. If uh, if it wasn't for the gay community, I don't think bodybuilding would have flourished. Quick to where question. It is now. Do we have, we know a few people in the, that are openly gay, right? In the bodybuilding community or no? Who? Man, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Like, I thought we did know. I think Kurt Cobain was- said it best. What else can I say? <laughs> Everyone is gay. <laughs> <laughs> which means you're gay one way or another <laughs> damn <laughs> that's a crazy statement right there <laughs> people again depends on the situation they they, 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 yeah. they see their body as just a vessel they could have my body but they'll never have my mind <laughs> and soul <laughs> But you know what? Let's let's take the gay for pay out of the out of the equation for a second, right? What if it wasn't called gay for pay? What if it was called just just performing sexual acts for money, right? It's actually well, Kai, what it Kai is. Green used to Kai Green used to strip, and it's we strip, featured yeah. that in the movie mm-hmm. and Kai, and well, that was a big I, part I, of his I never life. Never witnessed it. <laughs> no, but I'm saying he did. Kai was an incredible. Performer. He's not hiding it either. I mean, it's not it's not a. It was oh, a he it actually. In the, yeah, it's not a, something that. He explained actually in the movie. Yeah. Man, if it should I not do be, I'm saying it should not be shamed. Split, None of this should be shamed, essentially, right? Doing stuff for money should not there's be shamed. There's a lot shamed, of bodybuilders right? that were strippers. And I, there's quite yeah. a few of them that were. So, you know, that all kind of falls in the same realm, right? And Rodney St. Clair? St. Cloud. St. Cloud. Rodney yeah, St. Yeah. Cloud. Yeah, but Rodney just, he, he just loves stripping, man. Rodney's. Uh, That's what I'm saying. So, there's nothing to, there's nothing to be. He loves doing the, the hood rat porn. Ronnie, if I, if I knew your, your hood rap porn site, I would promote you right now. <laughs> <laughs> Contact Rick. Rodney. Rodney's a, he's a funny guy, actually. He oh, did an no, interview for He's great. Yeah. He's I'll a, tell you a, what, since the first day I met him in Elmo's to this day, he, he's still been the same, consistent. Yeah. Elmo's? And, uh, What's that? He's Elmo's Gym. That's where we, we oh, actually used to train at before all these other gyms started popping up. So it was Elmo's and Bally's at the time. Bally's, yeah. I remember that place. Yeah, and it was, uh, that was a chain. one of the hardcore gyms, and, and Ronnie was always there, always always doing something, always on the hustle. I think we took the firefighter exam together. He got really? in. Yeah, he got in. Wow. wow. Yeah, he was a firefighter. Shout out to Rodney's uh, St. Cloud. Yeah, yeah. Ladies, check him out. <laughs> Hood rap porn. <laughs> <laughs> No, I think one of the topics that we didn't cover, which obviously there's always a lot of rumors out there, is on how Rami Rami is retiring. I mean, obviously we we had our team discuss that and everything, but supposedly there was this big rumor that Bob Chicarello said that he should retire. But then he said he didn't say it. Supposedly, but then he I think further. that's a little harsh. Yeah, that was a little harsh. I don't man. think. I don't think. You know, obviously, I, my opinion is obviously it doesn't matter, but uh, I don't think Rami should be retiring if he doesn't want to. So I this guy right I'm, here. I, I mean, was a bit brutal. I understand exactly what, <laughs> what Bob say. Exactly, exactly my feeling. I love Big Rami. I don't want to see him Did go Bob down. say he should retire, actually? Did he actually say that? I, I think so, no? I didn't hear what he no, said. No, I don't think he said that. I think he said, he, 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 def, he refuted that. Um, we don't have a lot of information on that because I didn't see any videos but the point, that he but the yeah, point, I didn't see it either. But the point Ooh. is like, uh, like uh, I say he should be stopped. We, we don't want to see one of the hero, one of the king go down every competition, you know? I'm a big fan of the Big Rami. I, I was standing, the first Mr. Olympia, he won 2000, 2020. Bro, was, you don't got to do this every episode, was, how much of a fan you are. We get I it. was yeah. standing <laughs> Every time this guy trying to But Essan, Essan, you were the one of the ones that said, you should retire. He has to be <laughs> forget about Forget about Bob Chikarula. You said it, retire. He has to stop. <laughs> right? Again, I, I say he has to no, stop. No, no. I say, listen, I say pull back, 
but I think he has at least one or two comebacks. Because yeah. remember, he came back well, and he won well, the There Olympics. was a video of Rami on live. A fan said something about, are you going to retire? And Rami looked confused and he said, no way, I'm not retiring. So no. that's an official yeah. statement from actual... He's got way himself. too much muscle. He's still, he's still young. Very few injuries. I mean, he's still got it. You know, come on. I think he's good for at least, you know, because he already had one comeback. He has at least two or three comebacks. I think the real question of it for you is, do you think at this point he should change coaches? Or coach, whatever. That's, Would that help? Again, uh, that's a Europe. choice for him to make because uh, definitely training coaches. <laughs> he has to be changing the training style. I mean, Chad Nichols, they give him as a nutrition wise and juices and stuff. Who's he with now? It? Chad Nichols. Chad Nichols and trainings. He need to he need to change the different training style. He doesn't need to building muscle. Yeah, if anything, it's his training style. I agree with yeah. that. Yeah, his training style to just uh, go back to the streamlined body he had. Yes. Streamline-ish, you know? Yeah. Because, yes. again, he's, he's a big monster, but uh, he's I think he's got still pretty good shape. I, I, I like Rami. I hope he comes back stronger than ever. I mean, like I, I, think, I think you guys know, if you, we documented him in Generation 9 too when he was living in Kuwait at the time. Mm -hmm. and, you know, we were very fortunate to meet, and you were greeted very nicely. Yeah, he's a great guy. Incredible he's hospitality. Great guy. Uh, you know, hospitality. He had us at his home. We met his wife, beautiful kids. So we would love to see Rami come back and win. Maybe go back to Bader's team, you no? Know? Oxygen. I see. I, I Again, mean, I trust in his decisions, but he's right. definitely going to pull something out of the hat, you yeah. know, that he hasn't done before. And I think changes his training. Bring his body, and I try to go in with the with the size again. Just refine, as I said before. And I think Rami, he's good for it, man. He's good for it. He's good for a sport. Definitely, he's good no, for a he's sport. Good, he's good man. for he's good for any show. I mean, he's one of the king. He won um, two times, Mr. Olympia. I mean, look, look, Jay. Nobody said Jay you should retire when you know. Mm -hmm. 07, 08, when Dexter, you know, beat him. 08. Jay came back 09, 09, and you know, totally different. Yeah. Did the stomp and and come on. I think Rami has it in him. So Rami knows this. His fans know this. And uh, come on, son, give him a break, bro. <laughs> 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 I I I hope he's coming back, and I hope he win. I mean, it is, this this uh, this is not personal. Yeah. This is my opinion. But I don't want to see him. At the third, fourth place in the, in the no, world. no, he's got to no. come in and pack full, like okay. crushing it. And I think he could come back, not like Jay with a one stomp. He could come back with a double stomp. Two thousand eight, two thousand nine. Jay come back. Jay changed the um, coach. He go to back the Honey Rambo. So two thousand nine. Jay, which is the best mm -hmm. shape ever, he bring to okay. the stage. He worked with Honey Rambo. So maybe maybe Big Rami should, you know. I mean, I'm not saying Big Rami goes to Big Rami. Maybe. Rambo, yeah. But he's changing, he's changing, he changing mm -hmm. the training style. He's changing everything, basically. And he brought out different conditioning. Yes. Remember? Yeah, yeah. I mean, Jay was a huge guy, but he doesn't have that conditioning crispy because yeah, of yeah. the Ronnie Coleman. Yeah. He was big. So I remember clearly 2008, I asked him, what happened? You lost to Dexter Jackson. He said, I don't know. Judges right now wants to conditioning. Okay, next year I'll bring the conditioning. Before I was compete with Ronnie Coleman and Ronnie Coleman every year bring, bring size and yeah. size and size. Right. Everyone follow Ronnie Coleman. So right now the judge changed the direction. I yeah. bring the conditioning. I think so. He's good for it. Man. But there you go. All right, guys, thank you for joining us, Generation Iron Podcast. If you want to see any of our other episodes, please tune into Spotify, Apple uh, uh, Podcasts, what else? iHeartRadio, and make sure to subscribe, like, and comment.